Next up um, is Catherine Granger. So she is from Box uh, Possibilities, a award-winning green uh, tech company. And I don't want to well, take too much. I'll let Catherine do the speaking here, but um, I saw your products at Victoria Yards that one day and I was absolutely amazed at how amazing it was. And it's another game changer potentially for the continent. So Catherine, over to you. Thank you very much, John. Um, very great to be here today. Um, can you all see my screen? Great. Um, so my name is Catherine Granger. As John said, I'm a proud Dubliner who's been in Joburg now for nearly a decade. Um, I'm a founding partner and the principal architect at Box of Possibilities. Boxa is a construction technology company and our product is smart green space. We design scalable, sustainable and transformational building solutions for African markets. And Boxa sits within the Ikigai group, which is a holding structure and manufacturing and distribution platform. And through Ikigai, we source transformational construction systems and technologies from around the world create local joint ventures to manufacture them here locally, and then integrate these systems to create transformational construction solutions for African markets. Sorry. So this is the premise that underpins our reason for being. The keyword here is transformation, at Boxo, we embrace a new generation of construction technologies and use them to reduce the environmental impact of construction practices. Winning hearts and minds and generating acceptance for these modern methods of construction is absolutely key. We deliberately don't refer to alternative technologies because it implies they're fringe systems. And in fact, these new methods now need to become mainstream and fast. The construction industry is an absolute beast. It accounts for 13% of global GDP, but it's a notoriously dirty, inefficient and fragmented sector. And it's responsible for almost a quarter of all raw material consumption globally, and for about 38% of global CO2 emissions. As we all know, we're in the throes of a massive global transformation, the sustainability revolution driven by numerous factors is accelerating like a meteorite through an atmosphere of environmental awareness and a new generation of conscious consumers. Markets are starting to reflect the realization that there is this big shift underway and significant investment into the green tech innovation, especially into the development of new biomaterials and construction materials from non-extractive sources is really encouraging. And as a result, the construction tech industry is growing exponentially. The urgency for this transformation, as we're all acutely aware, cannot be overstated. Um, concrete was the wonder material that transformed construction, but it's become the most destructive material on earth. As an industry, we are addicted to concrete, the most consumed substance in the world, second only to water, um, and it's responsible for up to 8% of global CO2 emission. It fills our rubbish dumps, it overheats our cities, it causes devastating floods and uses vast quantities of sand and, sand and water resources. So construction tech is enabling us to make a step change from traditional building materials. We're finally starting to see a move away from cementitious products from wet sites, which are time consuming, unpredictable and incredibly wasteful. To give you an idea, on an average traditional build, you generally allow for between 10 to 15% wastage from the outset on all your materials that are specified from tiles to bricks to cement. And we're seeing this move to the use of more modular composite systems they, and modern methods of construction, which are cleaner, lighter, obviously easier and um, less CO2 in the transportation, far less waste, wasteful, and they use often use no water. Construction waste is kept to an absolute minimum. 
So at Boxa, all of our units are modular. They're designed on grids, which use standard module sizes for all the components. And this helps us minimize waste and maximize efficiencies during transportation and the assembly of the buildings. Modular systems also enable us to combine the efficiencies and cost savings of mass production with the flexibility of individual customization for each project. So how are all these developments relevant to Africa? Um, Africa's population is going to double by 2050 to 2 billion people. An additional billion people on this continent in the next 30 years will inevitably increase the need for basic infrastructure. We all know Africa's development needs are already far from being met uh, using traditional building systems. The good news is that this new generation of sustainable building systems and off-grid technologies can be harnessed to accelerate essential development and to improve consistency and quality outcomes across the sector. We often hear about Africa's propensity to leapfrog developed markets. And we believe at Boxa that nowhere else on the planet is the need and opportunity for construction tech greater than here in Africa. From our experience to date and the sheer scale of the opportunity, we're convinced that Africa is the ideal sandbox in which to grow a green construction tech platform of global significance. So how are we at Boxa putting all of this into practice? We use pre-manufactured components, um, locally manufactured as far as possible, and uh, we're working to have all of our components manufactured locally. That is a journey. Um, we use no water, our sites are completely dry. We use no cement and we generate absolute minimal construction waste on our sites. Our units are high quality. They're designed to perform spatially, thermally, environmentally in terms of their life cycles. Um, speed of the build, far less energy gets used in the construction. Our buildings go up in days rather than months. Uh, the classroom you see there was built in five days and finished in seven, I think. Um, also, our units can be relocated and repurposed. So if a client does need to move a building, we can disassemble the building like a, a Lego set, relocate it and reassemble it somewhere else. So reducing construction waste. We also use a steel pile footing system, which means that the existing ground plane re remains below. So we're not pouring concrete into the earth, and there's huge benefits there for water absor absorption and for sensitive uh, ecological settings. Just wanted to show you very quickly how our buildings come together. So these are the three key components for our building envelopes. These are the concrete um, three steel pile foundations that you saw go in. There's then a timber subframe, a cross laminated timber floor slab, again, no concrete. And um, we then use a dry stack composite block walling system. They're like giant Lego blocks, essentially, which are made from fly ash or industrial waste sand combined with a resin, no firing in the process. We then have timber lamb beams on top and cross laminated timber roof. And, and roof sheeting. So that's a typical boxer building in a nutshell. To give you an example of how we source and integrate international technologies and, and localize them, just wanted to quickly look at the walling system that we most commonly use. So the Ikigai Group um, has the exclusive license for South Africa to manufacture this polycare walling system. It's a German technology. And we now have funding and an agreement with Atlantis Foundries, which is in uh, the Western Cape. They manufacture truck engine blocks for Mercedes trucks. And they use sand to make the molds for their engine blocks. This sand previously has been going into, into landfill. We now are using their waste sand to create building blocks, which in turn will be used by Boxa and hopefully many others to build classroom blocks and other essential infrastructure. So the block plant we're hoping will be operational in early 2022 and uh, producing value um, from, from this waste stream. The other um, 
key component of our buildings is the cross laminated timber. It's dubbed the concrete of the future. BLT, for those of you who aren't familiar with it, is being used now in Europe to build high rise buildings, often replacing steel and concrete. And it's a way of turning renewable, fast growing, sustainable, local, and um, soft timber into a structural system. So essentially layers of softwood strips are pressed into sandwich panels, which give them structural properties. And they can be then used as floor or roof slabs, columns or beams. Uh, timber is also a carbon sink, so it has very obvious benefits there. So we have just started operating our very first CLT press in Hartang, in partnership again with the local um, South African timber and manufacturers and processors. And we're hoping to scale up production really rapidly. So I'd just like to show you a few box of projects that we've designed using these systems and technologies. Um, our aim is to design solutions that look and feel comfortable, inviting, hopefully inspire people to, to use these new technologies. Uh, the images here are of the Changemaker Centre that John referred to earlier. It's a community centre and classroom at Victoria Yards in Johannesburg. Um, our route to market has very deliberately been from the top down. So we want to make quality green spaces aspirational and to generate acceptance of these modern methods of construction. So we've started with the private sector and the NGO and corporate responsibility uh, spaces. OXA currently have five product categories in education, sanitation, uh, small scale agile commercial and then leisure and hospital. The plan then is by bringing the manufacturing into Africa and specifically into South Africa at the moment, we want to generate scale, which will in turn reduce our production costs and enable us to tackle other essential infrastructures such as affordable housing, larger scale healthcare and educational facilities. So these are just a few of our projects and um, classrooms workspaces, ECD spaces, early childhood development. Um, on the left in this slide here, you can see a proposal we've just done for a training center for a Belgian company called Lucas Noel. They do high, highly skilled training labs for vehicle design and um, uh, energy labs. Um, and they want to locate these in refugee camps so that um, they can train or People there who are highly skilled but unable to work can be trained up um, in essential skills for the countries they're now living in. The middle uh, images are the off-grid toilet block at Victoria Yards. Uh, the composting toilet system turns human waste into compost, which can be used on plants. It's powered completely by solar, it's completely off-grid, and it harvests rainwater off the roof uh, for the hand basins. And then on the right, there's our smallest unit, it's a little uh, toilet pod, all made from cross laminated timber and was completely manufactured off site and was installed in a matter of hours. And um, this was at a school in an informal settlement uh, just outside Boxburg. And the kids were previously using buckets because their teachers were so worried about them drowning in the chemical toilet. So that's work that we find very satisfying to do. Uh, the images on the top here are a project that we're currently busy with, it's a really nice one, um, an ecologic and marine conservation project uh, on an island in northern Mozambique. Uh, we leave in a couple of weeks to begin installation, which is very exciting, but essentially it's a series of low density beach suites, all solar powered uh, with rainwater, grey water um, systems. And some of the income generated then goes into the conservation of over 150 square kilometers of reef and local community support and education programs. And so that's a nice one to be working on. There's arguments over who does the, the site inspections for that one. And the middle unit at the bottom is another tented unit that we've designed. Uh, that was in response to a lot of inquiries from bush camps conservation projects where they want buildings uh, for very delicate uh, ecologically sensitive areas and um, yeah, so our, our building field to use no water which is a huge advantage to come in and go up like a lego set in, in a matter of days 
Um, I just wanted to end with a very short film that shows the two projects, the toilet block and the classroom at Victoria Yards in Joburg. Um, the composting off-grid toilet block was the very first box of building we ever did back in 2019. We've since completed about 20 buildings and have another 20 or so on the go at the moment. Um, we were very honoured earlier this year to have been awarded a Sustainable Design Award um, by the AFRISAM SIA uh, Sustainable Design Awards panel. And this was a little film that they put together and I think shows the units of Victoria Yards in use and really captures the essence of what we at Boxa are trying to do. Oh, That's me. Thank you very much. I'm very happy to answer any questions that anyone has at the end. Thanks a million, Catherine. That's so cool. Um, you're, as you know, you're one of the inspirations for this concept. So it's brilliant to actually finally have you here um, and to hear about your, your exciting new products. That's it's amazing, especially, you know, to continue that uh, carbon reduction theme that we have going today with after the botanical trees. And I hopefully, you know, now that there's load shedding again, this off grid technology and even the water shortages will help a little bit more and get the focus in there and help box it you know, come on to greater things. And I think, you know, if you're looking for volunteers to go down to Mozambique and test out um, the products, then I'm sure I would definitely put my hand up and trail have other piece of people would as well. So best of luck um, with all your new projects and look forward to as well, keeping an eye on, on Box and what you're doing and then promoting some of your new products and stuff. And that's uh, amazing stuff. Thank you. Thanks so much. Love to join the back of the queue. <laughs> <laughs> yeah.